So again, push the test button. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh and there was a big <laughs> jump there. We're not quite happy with that one. So wide this RCB up. We've got the in coming at the top here, following the manufacturer's instructions. See the in terminals there and the out at the bottom. Slightly different to the ones you're used to seeing in consumer units for two reasons. One is that different orientation between in and out, and the second was it actually has a, a hard wide neutral instead of a flying lead. So press the uh, test monthly button that I'm sure everybody does every month. And we can see the device is operating correctly. So we've put it through a test now. We'll just do the one times RCD test just to confirm it's working correctly. And we've just done that with the 8.3 milliseconds disconnection. But we're going to change it around a bit now. Hopefully we can do some isolation here, Gordon. Yes, we're going I'm with our screwdriver. Isolate. I'm going to knock it off at the plug and remove the lead from our don't try this at home. Kids, if you're doing it, and we're just going to swap the, we're going to feed it in the reverse direction. Okay. So as if we're connected to something like possibly a solar inverter. And there's obviously a lot of people now starting to talk about doing things in uh, island mode where you're using the inverter to power the house in the event of a power cut. So effectively now we've got a generator uh, on here and we're going to be coming back the other way, sending the supply through the device in what logically is the reverse direction. Yeah. We know it's been labelled and a labelled device should be unidirectional, okay, and we know that bi-directional devices are out there in the market. So let's see what happens with a unidirectional device when we pass the current through it in the opposite direction. Reconnected that round, so we're opposite way around, even though the connections look like they're the right way around because of the labeling on the device. Yeah. We've now got it manufacturers in reverse. Right, okay. so. Are you comfortable with the down. safety yeah. we got in place there, Gordon? Yeah. So back in. Back in, power up. Okay, so nice and exciting. Right, you're gonna plug a light in? Oh yeah, yes, we there. can see the brightness. Yes, yeah, so we know we're working. So again, push the test button. Okay. Ooh, oh, ooh, geez. and there was a big <laughs> jump there. We're not quite happy with that one. Do you want to reset it for me? Because they say that these can be reset and then don't work. So we're going to need to pull that down. That by the, uh, the smell in here, and that's Let's not reset just from it. the device. It could be from my trousers oh, as well. Oh, no, Gordon. That means that device is working. Press the test button for me. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. That is not good. So the customers come along. The RCD is maybe tripped within the device. They've reset it and they've seen everything come back on and they're happy. Mm. But now, is it just the test button? Are we just work? stinking of that smell yeah. of burning electronics uh, that you used to See? I thought it was the arm hairs that went up on oh. you. Let's try the RCD test. That's it. Yeah. And obviously you've got an RCD tripped in circuit, but not this one, because this yeah. one is now not functioning. The test button doesn't work, but the circuit when energized was on, wasn't it? We had that lamp mm. illuminated behind us. 